Mushido, do you have a moment? What's the matter? My name is Mugino Mashido. My dad seems to want to talk to me about something very serious. Do you have a huge amount of debt and have to sell the house or something? Uh, no, it's not like that at all. I'm actually planning on getting remarried. Oh, I see. That's cool. When are you getting married again? Uh, oh, wait, that's your reaction? I thought you'd be more surprised. Well, the four of us had a barbecue together. I thought that you would get married to her eventually. Uh, wait, but are you sure? If I marry her, then the four of us will live together in this house. Also, Chion is the same age as you. It'll be fine. It might be a little awkward at the start, but they're gonna be my mom and sister. I'll get used to it eventually. Also, mom passed away from the illness when I was in the first year of elementary school. So I think it's about time you get remarried. Thank you so much. I'm gonna do that. After a little while, my dad got remarried and I had a new mom and sister. We had met a couple of times before the marriage, so it wasn't awkward at all. Hey, Mashido, what should we make for lunch today? Um, how about pasta or something? I think there was some left. Oh yeah, good idea. We have a can of tomato sauce too. I'll go prepare it right now then. So, as you can see, it's not like we didn't get along. However, there were still some things that we were not used to yet. Matsuda, I'll help you out, too. Oh, you called me Matsuda again. I told you to call me by my first name. I've managed to call you Mashido so fast. I'm sorry, I'm still not used to it. We both used to call each other by our family names until our parents got married. Well, yeah, but you need to be careful as I'm transferring to the same school as you. If you call me Matsuda at school, everyone else is gonna get confused. Y yeah, I'll be careful. It's just that I'm not used to calling and being called my name by a girl. Well, I guess so. Especially now that we're in high school. It's rare to call people by their name, right? Yeah, right? The only people that I call by their first names these days is Seira and Akane. Hi, huh? who the hell is that girl? Are you friends with her? Does she have a good personality? What's she look like? Huh? What's the matter all of a sudden? It's nothing. I'm just a little interested as I might become her classmate after I transfer to your school. Once winter break is over, I'm going to be going to school with you, Mashido. Oh, that's what you mean. Uh, those two are my childhood friends, okay? They're twins and they're really pretty. They're really popular around school. Oh, I see. Pretty childhood friends. She's not your girlfriend by any chance, is she? Neither are my girlfriend. Also, I haven't talked to them much ever since we became high schoolers. I feel like they became cold to me ever since we entered high school. Oh, I see. Fio, we have no idea what I would have done if one of them was his girlfriend. The two of us made pasta and ate together. Hey, do you have any plans after this? Uh, not really. I was just planning on playing video games in my room. Well, if that's the case, then let's go shopping together. Yeah, okay then. If I'm going, then let's buy pasta and rice, okay? Yeah, we can stop by the grocery store at the end. Let's go shop for some clothes first. Clothes? I'm not that interested in shopping for clothes. That's why we should go together. Mashido, your fashion sense is kind of lame. Uh, well, it might be true. You don't hold back, do you? That's why I'll pick out some clothes for you. No, oh, that'd be really helpful, actually. I always buy similar clothes if I'm all by myself. After we washed all the dishes, we headed to the shopping mall together. Hmm, this one didn't really work. Try wearing it with this next. I'm grateful that you're picking out clothes for me, but aren't you treating me like a dress-up doll or something? Not at all. I just want to choose the clothes that suits you the most. Hurry up and go try it on. Okay, will do. I did as Xion told me to and tried on so many different kinds of clothes. I'm so tired. I had no idea that buying clothes would be this difficult. But you managed to buy some nice clothes, right? I'm satisfied too. That's true. I managed to buy some clothes that I wouldn't even usually buy myself. Right? I'm gonna choose all of the clothes that you wear from now on. Even your belt, underwear, and socks. I want you to wear everything that I choose. I think that I'm fine with what I have right now for those. Well, I'll wait for you to use them till I get the old, and you have to get rid of them. However, you're not allowed to buy anything new yourself. Okay then, I'll do that. Maybe it's because I know nothing about fashion? I guess people that do care about fashion care about the socks, belt, and underwear too. Hey, Mashido, can I hold your hand? Huh? Why? No reason in particular. We're siblings, so it's normal, though. 
Huh, really? If that's the case, then okay. I'm an only child, so I had no idea about this. Yay! From now on, I'm gonna hold your hand without getting your permission, so don't be surprised! Yay, I can hold hands with him whenever I want to! Huh, Mashiro. And uh, who was that? Oh, hey, you guys! Long time no see! It's rare for the two of them to talk to me first. Mashiro, who are they? She's calling him by his first name. Oh, uh, they're the twins I was talking about earlier. The one with the short hair is Futagachi Akane, and the one with long hair is Futagachi Seira. Hey, Mashiro, introduce her to us! Hey, it's nice to meet you. My name is Shion, and I'm his girlfriend. I'm gonna be transferring to the same high school as you guys. I hope we can all get along. G girlfriend? girlfriend? Whoa, what? We're not dating! Shion, why did you lie? My dad actually got remarried. She's my new sister-in-law. We're actually the same age, too. Phew, so she's your younger sister-in-law, then. I'm glad to hear that. If she was your girlfriend, I was gonna be so mad that I punched you a couple times. Akane, don't say scary things like that. You're the ace of the basketball team. You shouldn't be resorting to violence. Also, why in the world would you get mad if I got a girlfriend? Uh, uh, who cares about that? I yeah, there's no deep meaning behind this, so don't worry. Uh, okay, I'm glad to hear that. Anyway, why the hell are you guys holding hands like that? Huh? Well, I was told it was normal for siblings to hold hands. Who told you that? What? It was Shion. What? I don't know anything about this! Don't act like you don't know! You shouldn't be saying weird things to him like this! Yeah, she's right. He's so pure, he's gonna believe everything you say! Well, we're siblings, so this kind of thing should be okay! I'm so jealous. Oh, um... You shouldn't be doing something so dishonest like this! Mashiro is still a guy, you know. Well, barely. What do you mean by barely? Just because you became his sister, it doesn't mean you could act like his girlfriend. Huh? Why can't I do that? Well, we're family now, so it should be fine for me to become really close to him. Also, we might be siblings, but we're not related. There should be no problem with us dating. <coughs> what? We're not blood relatives. We could even get married if we wanted to. Well, that's true, I guess. Step out of it! She's tricking you! Yeah, true. It's gonna be difficult living at home if I start thinking about that kind of thing. What? Should we start dating then? What? Well, it would be awkward if we leave things like this, right? I've been interested in you before our parents got married. You're nice and I like being with you. Also, if my mom fell in love with your dad, it means that I'm genetically attracted to you, right? Uh, that's true. Wait, hold on a minute. Sierra, this is an emergency, right? Huh? What rule are you talking about? Hey, Mashiro. I've had feelings for you ever since we were small. You have to date me. Mashiro, I also liked you a lot too, from a long time ago. Do you want to try dating me? Huh? What are you guys saying all of a sudden? Also, the two of you were avoiding me ever since we started high school, right? Well, yeah, but it's not like we wanted to avoid you. Yeah, we loved you so much that we couldn't focus on anything else. We were about to give up on studying and our sports clubs. Oh, I had no idea about any of this. That's why we made the rule that we wouldn't ask you to date either of us during high school. We also promised that we wouldn't go near you too much, too. Uh, really? Yeah, and I decided to focus on basketball. Sierra decided to focus on studying. We agreed that the one that achieved more in our respective field would be able to ask you out on the day of the graduation. Oh, I see. Are you sure you should be telling me this? Well, it can't be helped. We need to let you know that we like you, otherwise that girl's gonna steal you away! Th that's not gonna make a difference! I'm not gonna lose either way! Oh, really now? We're childhood friends! Now that we told him how we feel, I don't feel like we're gonna lose to you. You've only known him for a short amount of time, after all. Uh, uh, well, I have no intention of losing to a childhood friend like you guys. Mashido, let's go to the grocery store and buy the ingredients for dinner. It's starting to get late. Shin grabbed my hand and we went to the grocery store together before going home. I really didn't think that your childhood friends would be that cute. I didn't think they were interested in you as well. Uh, hey, Shion, were you serious about everything you said earlier? Yeah, I was serious about everything I said. I've already gotten permission from your mom and dad too. What? Uh, really? Yeah, they told me that we could date each other if we both of us wanted to. Really? I had no idea about that. Well, I wasn't planning to tell you this yet. 
I was planning on gradually getting closer with you, but both of them seem to be pretty strong rivals. I can't be slacking around. You better be prepared, Mashido. Uh, prepared for what? Xion started to use every opportunity she had to flirt with me. Hey, Mashido! Let's shower together today! Wait, hold on! No way, there was no way we can shower together! Why, though? The twins touched you today, right? I have to make sure to wash it all over very thoroughly. I'll wash your body for you today. So scary. I can wash my own body, so it's okay. Also, stop treating the two of them like they're a virus or something. Another day. Mashido, let's sleep together tonight. If I sleep next to you, you won't dream about the twins, right? I wouldn't dream of them regardless. Also, there's no way we can sleep together. You're so strict. I decided to go running outside by myself to think about what had happened over the past few days. My life at home had suddenly changed because of the recent incident. It's not that I don't like her, but my emotions are a total mess right now. It's so tiring. Oh, hey, Mashido, are you out for a run too? Yeah, I'm out jogging and trying to clear my mind. I just needed some fresh air, you know? I ended up telling Akane about everything that was happening at home. What the? Make sure you don't fall for her, okay? She's obviously flirting with you. <laughs> I have no idea what's gonna happen either. Mashiro, I've decided something. I'm going to go to your house whenever I'm not sleeping or playing basketball. What? Why are you gonna do that? It's too dangerous to leave you by yourself. Once I take a shower, I'm gonna come over to your place. I'm gonna tell Sierra about this too. I kinda sprinted home to take a shower, and then she came to my place along with Sierra a little while later. The four of us ended up spending most of winter break together. I see, so Sierra is pretty smart, but you're kind of dumb, aren't you, Akane? Well, I'm different to Sierra. Studying isn't my strong point. I'm better at sports. What about you then, Xion? I got the highest score ever in the recent high school exam. I think I'm pretty smart. What? Well, I'm pretty sure that I'm a better athlete than you. I wouldn't be so sure about that. When I was at my old school, I won the national tennis tournament for my age group. I'm a great athlete too. Damn you. We spent the winter break with Xi'an and Akane constantly arguing like this. The new school semester started. My name is Mugano Xi'an. My mom got remarried, so we had to move to this town. She married Mashido's dad, so I'm his sister-in-law. I hope that I can get along with all of you. Xi'an became very popular very quickly. She was pretty, smart, extroverted, and a great athlete, and all the guys were in love with her. However, that caused a problem too. Mashido, listen to this! During our physical education class today, my volleyball beat the Xion's team. Well, I scored more points in total compared to you, Akane. It's not like you're a better athlete than me, Akane. Hey, look! Mugino's talking to Xion again! Just because he became her sister, I can't forgive him! He's also become real close to Akane, too. When did that happen? Damn it. Childhood friends with some beautiful twins, and she's become the brother-in-law to Xion. This is like a love movie. I'm scared of my classmates glaring at me. Lunch break? Let's eat lunch together! You guys always eat lunch at home. Let me eat with him at school. No way! Also, I made lunch for Mashido today. So jealous. Yeah, I feel like all the other guys in class are trying to put a curse on me or something. I think I'm gonna eat alone for today. Uh, thanks for making me lunch, Xi'an. And I ran away out of the classroom. What? No way, they're both chasing after me? Mashido, come over here. Uh, huh? You really surprised me, Sada. What is this place? This is the room that the art club uses. I'm the head of the club right now. Oh, so that's why you have a key for this place. Yeah, nobody's gonna come here at this time, so you can relax. I'm in a different class to you guys, so I can't come see you that often. It must be pretty hectic having both Akane and Xion in your class, right? Yeah, it's not that I don't like them, but I'd like to relax a bit more at school. I see. Well, nobody is gonna come here. Why don't you take a nap for a little while? Uh, wait, really? Are you sure? Yeah, I'll wake you just before lunch break ends. Thanks so much. I think I'm gonna rest for a little while, like you say then. Now, I fell asleep almost instantly, as my life had been very hectic recently. Huh? I can feel something soft. Is there a pillow in this room? Wait, what? I'm on your lap?! Oh, you woke up. You should have slept a little longer, you know. Uh, thanks. So, you let me sleep on your lap this entire time? 
Yeah, there's no pillow here, so I thought it would hurt to sleep on the floor. That's why I put you on my lap. Thanks, I actually managed to sleep really well thanks to you. Wait, hold on, fifth class is about to start! Yeah, you slept really well. I mean, it's my fault for sleeping, but you should have woken me up. Well, you were deep asleep, and you looked kinda cute sleeping. <laughs> also, you didn't wake up even when I moved you to my lap, and when I played with your hair. It was so fun. No way. Well, my bad then. I made you miss class too. Oh, you don't need to worry about me. I already know everything they're teaching in class. Well, you are the smartest girl in school, I guess. Also, I was really happy that I could spend time alone with you, as we barely ever have time alone together till now. Well, I'm glad that you enjoyed this time too. Alright, let's go back to class then, okay? Hold on. Uh, huh? Sarah? Hey, can't you choose me? If you date me, you can sleep on my lap whenever you want. I'll teach you how to study too. Uh, Sarah, I, uh... Hold on a moment! Huh? Aren't you guys meant to be in class? We realized that you weren't in your classroom either, so we rushed all the way here. What? I wish that you guys came here a little bit later. Hey, Mashido, let me hear your answer to what I just asked you. That's so fair, Sierra! Mashido, are you okay? Did she do anything to you? Huh? I'm totally fine! She just let me sleep on her lap, and so I'm all energized again, you know? You slept on her lap! You're never allowed to do that! Sierra, I'm not gonna forgive you for this. It's because you two are always arguing with each other. Mashido, let's leave school early and shower together. I'll wash your body as she made it dirty. You can then sleep on my lap after that. It's fine, you don't have to do that, so don't worry. Seems like I'm gonna be living a hectic life with these three girls around. A year later, I started dating one of these three. However, nobody knows who at this point. <laughs>